Steve here, Shin RC. I'm with the RC groups I custom make. I'll show you some new ones I'm going to pull out of the mold. Also, I want to show you guys. I've been having questions about making grips for your thumb. For example, some guys like to drive with their thumb like this. And they've been asking about making grips for that application. But there's two simple methods you could do to make a grip really easy out of my grips. And I'll show you that later on. These are just my custom grips I make. All different styles. For your radios, I have them in this incubator. You could see over here. I have some new ones on the top that I'm going to be taking out of the molds. So here's just some of them real quick. They look really good. So I make these for the radios because a long time ago I got sick of my foam grips getting all dried out and crusted. So I started making these for myself, and after a while, a lot of guys seen them and wanted them for their radio, so I decided to make them. I've been making them for who knows how many years now. I have them on my website, www.pprslots.com. Hey, Perth West Stars RC, what's up? I'm going to take some new ones out of the molds here. This is the second batch on the top here. And I think it looks better now with the setup I have right now. You could really see what the grips look like better. You see them? I think the other day I had no light behind me. I put this little light behind me now, so it looks a lot better. But uh, the second batch is coming out. <clears> There's <throat> my shot. Try at the camo colors. <laughs> the color of like an army man. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to start taking these out. What should we do first here? Let me try this one in the back here. I don't know what the hell this is going to be like. I just mixed up something crazy in this one. I'm going to be taking them out of the molds here. I use the tape to get the excess off. Just like that. I should come in a hair closer maybe. Let me see. I could point this down a little hair. There we go. That's better. See how they are in the mold. 
this was kind of sloppy on my part. I usually don't mess up that much. It dripped all over because I tried something different. So I don't know what the hell these are going to look like. I do my lives with these. I do them earlier because I wait overnight for a cure, so I don't want to sit here all day to like 8 o'clock and do the lives because then I got a lot of work to take them out and clean everything up. So that's why I do it earlier. But there's probably not going to be a lot of people watching because of that. But oh well, what are you going to do? <laughs> This is something different I did with this hair, so I don't know what the hell is going to come out of it. We'll see now. Tried something a little different here. This is a, it's like a gray color with red. So, something I tried a little different, but it looks pretty cool. It's different. And I put them in a box over here. These are probably all going to look different because they were different uh, styles. Pain in the ass, get them out of these molds. Yeah, so in a little while, I'm going to show you guys how to make a thumb wheel with using one of my grips so you could thumb drive. Because like I said, people are asking me to make them for thumbing, driving, but you don't need to. This is gray with a little red. Everyone comes out different. Leon's RC Hobbies, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. A little early here for a live, but I can't wait with the material here. I got to take it out in the morning because I waited overnight. That's why I do. I did two lives with these, and I did them like early in the morning, now like at 11 because I can't wait. And I'll be here all day trying to take these out, and I got a lot of work to do. This is red and gray, a blood red with gray. It's pretty cool looking. It's different. There's the mold. Take them out. Just like that. <laughs> Leon's RC how it's four four forty five. Holy crap. A lot of time different there. Eleven twenty six PM. 
Holy crap, you should be sleeping. <laughs> All right, that one was weird. It came out pretty funky. Let's see what else we got in here. There's all the grips I did in the bottom already from yesterday. I got these ones on the top here I have to take out of the molds. I'll try these ones. I think these are white with fluorescent green so they are hoping they'll look like beauties but I just gotta use this tape to clean off the surface See. Bristol RC, what's happening? Thanks for coming in. Doesn't help, I don't have a fingernail. Each strip I pull out of the mold is like a Christmas present. Waiting overnight like a little kid all nervous is wondering what they're going to come out like in the morning. All right. There it goes. This one's going to be white with fluorescent green splashes. Earl Motorhead, what's up, brother? Thanks for coming in. Guys, hit that thumbs up for me. I appreciate it. Let's see what this beauty looks like. Oh, man. Oh, this is a beauty, guys. Whew. Wait till you see this sucker. Oh, man, this is sweet. Oh man, this is a nice one style. Let's check out this. This fluorescent green and white. I think it was better further away. It's hard to. <laughs> On my monitor, it looks like regular dark green, but it's fluorescent green. That's awesome. They look much better in person. Let's see what the next one came came like. Zane Roberts, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. I like these. These are really sharp. I look better by my shirt. Ah, I just don't look the same on my monitor. It looks like the green's dark. I don't know about on your guys. Sergeant J's RC, what's up? These look awesome. This is white with fluorescent green. These splashes are like real bright. On my monitor, it don't look nothing like it. So I don't know what it looks like on yours. But this is fluorescent green with white. It really pops. 
See what the next one looks like. These are bad. Bad to the bone. These are super sick looking grips, let me tell you. I love this one. This one came out sweet. When you have your radio and you come to the track or something or hobby shop with that on, everyone's like, what the hell is that? We got one more here. See what the hell this one looks like. These are nice. Really pop. Damn, that one's a beauty. Check that out. Freaking awesome. Be on your steering wheel just like that. And also, guys, I'm going to also show you how to make a grip to run with one thumb for steering because guys have been asking me about that to make a grip for uh, thumb driving, like with your thumb only. But I don't need to because I've been doing this with my grips. It's an easy modification. There's different ways you could do it, and it works out perfect. I'll show you that in a little bit. See what else we got here in the oven. I don't know what the hell this one is. Let me try. I made a lot of green color because everyone likes the fluorescent green for some reason. I made sure I made a lot of fluorescent green because that's a hot color everyone wants. wondering what I'm using this tape for it's to get the little extra flashing off that overspill run of the material have to take these out of the molds. I have to clean them up and then uh, on some of them I'll round with sandpaper the edge smoother on the outside edge. So it's not easy to do. All right. I got one in the garbage. All right. Let's see what these look like. Oh, man. Oh, man. These are beauties. <laughs> it's like opening a Christmas present. <laughs> ah, 
This is why the guys always like the fluorescent green. You'll find out in a moment why. This is why, as I look sweet, let me see if I can get closer. And these are like fluorescent green and black, really good, cool design on them. That's awesome. Earl RC, what's happening? Thanks for stopping in. Just undoing some of these new grips from the second batch. I'm finished with them. You can see them here behind me. There's the ones in the bottom from the other day. I got some on the top. Yeah, that green is sick. Look at this one, Earl. White, white with fluorescent green. They're, they're cool as hell. These came out really awesome too. RC Mask Masters in house. What's up? Thanks for stopping in, guys. Hit that thumbs up. The more guys keep coming in. So I want you to know I'm going to make a, a, a grip for running with your thumb because guys are asking me to make them. But with my grips, there's an easy way to make one. So I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, I want to get these out of the molds. I made a lot of the green ones because I know the guys like the green. They're nice. Check out that. Beauty. <laughs> Earl RC, I need to get me some. Yeah, I got some cool looking ones. But the green ones really pop with the black. I try to do them the same the best I can, but they're all handmade, so they're all different. Because I paint this on from the inside. Here's how crazy I am. See this little gap? See the little gap in there, how thin that is? I go inside there with a toothpick or a, a, a Q-tip, and I cut the end off, and I actually stick the uh, thing in there and paint the design on there. I have to wait for the material to get thick, and then I do it like that. Otherwise, if you do it when it's pre-mixed, it'll just drip all the way down, and nothing will be on it. But I go in that thin crack, don't sound good, <laughs> and I paint it in there. It's a pain in the ass, but that's how I do it. That one's cool. One more in this style. Fan City RC. Says the black and green looks good. Check this one out. The white and green. That this is really nice in person. They look so much better, guys. This thing pops. You know when you put fluorescent paint over white, how it pops really bright? That's what happened with this. It's really sweet. Let's see what this one looks like. I 
It's fun when you make them. It's not fun when you make them. It's a pain in the ass when you make them. It's fun when you wait overnight and you're wondering what you created, what they're going to look like. It's like, like I said before, it's like when you were a little kid on Christmas and you're waiting overnight. I'm wondering all night. I'm wondering what are they going to come out like? What are they going to come out like? And when you take each one out, it's like a surprise. There's a little bit of black in between. That way you could put this on your radio. You want it that way or sideways like that with the stuff on it. It's pretty cool. All right. I don't know if you guys seen any of the old grips here from the other day. I'll show a few of them real quick. Fluorescent orange, white, and black with a little bit of brown metallic in it, like a coppery. You can hardly see it. It looks like black, but that's cool. Bloodshot eye. That's what I call this one, bloodshot eye, because it's white with blood. That's nice. Blue with the yellow. That's a cool one. Fluorescent orange with yellow, like a street cone orange. Camo. Tried my best at the camo. <laughs> JP Slayer, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. Hot pink for the lighties. <laughs> it doesn't look hot pink on my monitor. It looks like a, a, a glowing, like whitish orange. We got pewter blood. This is pewter color with a little red on it, like blood dripping. That's purple pearl with a little bit of fluorescent orange. This one here I just call blood because it looks like when you drip blood out of your finger or any other wound. Fluorescent yellow with fluorescent orange splash. Like I said, each one's a little different because I hand do them. Fluorescent orange with blue. Denver Broncos kind of looking, someone said the other day. <laughs> I did this one. I got two cups of the material and I poured them at once. Then I had to flip the mold and do it again. So that's how I did that. And that's it for them. Let's see what the heck we got here. I don't know. To me, it's cool. That's why I made these because my foam grips always got crusted and I'm sick of them. They always got messed up. 
So I made these for myself, then a lot of guys after a while wanted them, so I started making them like once a year. But to me, it's cool because when you go somewhere, even just to have on your RC radio, it's, it looks totally different than anything ever before. There's nothing like this where you have a custom grip that's like one of a kind. This one should be nice for Halloween. <clears throat> if I recall the colors I put in here, this one should look real spooky. using this tape to get the excess off the surface of the mold. RCVHX22, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. John Rascon says, those are awesome. Have you thought of making them colors of the sports team? Yeah, I didn't think of doing that, <laughs> but I I made some that actually are like this one here. One, some of the guys said it looks like Denver Broncos. All right, I have a feeling these ones are going to look pretty neat. Oops, missed again. There we go. Oh, man, these are sweet. <laughs> Remember I said it looks like it should be for Halloween, guys? Wait till you see it. Gonna hide it from <laughs> Check that out. That is freaking awesome. That is sick. Black with white. Spooky, isn't it? Ghosts. Crossbones, spider webs, whatever you want to call it. White flames. RC Master, I like it. Yeah, that one came out cool. It's it, Everyone's going to be a little different because I do it by hand. So kind of cool. I try to do them the same, but it's impossible. Oh, it's pretty cool too. I don't know. Do you guys see them better when I go closer? Is it better a little further back? It looks like it gets clearer a little further back. Ha, <laughs> boot <Blue> disc. <laughs> 
Bristol RC, how much do you sell? They're eight ninety nine each. I have them like on sale. I usually sell them for nine ninety nine. All right, let's see what this one. So far, both of them came out like beauties. Another. This one's pretty sweet, too. That's pretty nice. They all look a little different. Not gonna look the same. See, this one's got some on the front, which is kind of actually cool looking on the front face. First larger, yeah. For how much work it goes into these and stuff, it's crazy. You know what it is? $9.99 I have on sale for $8.99. And the shipping is $3.45, but kind of sucks because the shipping's like a lot compared to the price of the grip. But I have where you could get like if say if you got like probably five of them, it'd still be the shipping the same. So it's one time shipping unless it gets so much more weight, but I doubt it will because I don't think you're ever going to buy that many grips in one time. The shipping cost is the same if you want to buy like four or five of them. Look at that. That's cool. That's nice. Damn, that side looks really sweet. That one almost looks like a skeleton, like a skull. With the eye, where is it? This way? The eye? <laughs> I'm seeing things. These ones came out sweet. All right. Let me... Let me show you guys real quick here something. Like I said, the guys, they were asking me to make a new grip. Better for a minute. They were asking me to make a new grip. You know how you drive with your thumb like this? Well, I'm backwards because you know, I'd have to be like, I can't even bend that much. <laughs> like that. They're telling me, oh, you should make a new grip so you could uh, have for thumb driving. But there's two modifications you could do easy. So I'm going to show you that right now. If you get my grips, you can make a, a thumb drive so easy. First of all, you'd have to get two grips. And what you would do is you get one of the grips and you use your scissor. Well, actually, you don't have to do that. You do that later. You get CA glue after you clean the grip. You could clean the inside with Windex. I'm going to show you right now. Let me see if I could. Uh, I don't even know if this is going to work because I have to wait for it to dry. But you, what you want to do is you fold the grip like this and you glue it. And say if you want like an inch, you glue it to an inch like that. And then you cut the bottom. I'll show you. Probably going to be messy. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry, but I'll, I'll just do it real quick and just to see. See, so you put the glue in there. See how I did that? It's kind of hard when you're on camera doing it. Then you hold this like this. I don't know. This is why it's kind of sucky. Now you hold it like this. You would probably <laughs> be better off laying something on it or something. But I'm going to see how long this takes to dry. I don't even know. I may have put too much CA glue. But you do this. Are they universal? Do they only fit certain trans? Earl, they fit most all transmitters. The only ones I found that don't fit 
and what guys been doing, they told me, say you have the Traxxas TQI, the new version with that little wheel, they go around the wheel first with a layer of double-sided stick tape when they take the old foam off, or they do electrical tape. But once you do one around it with the double-sided stick tape, then they'll fit on. That's that's what they do with those. I have some pictures on my site. You could see it. The guys have the close-ups. You could see how they do it. But I used to make a smaller grip, but I don't bother anymore because I only had like three molds of that. And no one ever hardly bought it because most all the grips, this standard size fits most everything. Only like a few radios. I think there was like a Kyosho one. Not a Kyosho, Kyo Propo with a real small wheel. The Traxxas TQI. And I think one Spectrum model came with a super small wheel. And that was the only ones I knew of. Well, there you go. See? Right here. Now, your second grip, you do what I said, and you glue it like that, however far you need. I don't know. I just guesstimated just to show you guys. You glue it together with the CA glue. No, don't cut it. This is an old one. <laughs> Actually, this grip is probably like five years old. And then you would get this and cut it just like that. So what you have here is like that. You see that? You could angle this when you put it on your radio. I'm going to show you next. You could angle this cut on an angle so it's smooth. Let me show you. See this cut? You could cut that on an angle so it's smooth like a ramp on each side. But anyhow, then what you would do did you get your radio? I may have made this too long. You would have to look at your radio first. Then you get it. Put it wherever you need it. Yeah, I made it too long, but I just wanted to show you guys. I made it much too long because <laughs> I never really did it. I just... Uh, did it one time before on one of my radios. You would have to make this, like I said, glue it probably a half inch long. You get the idea anyway. Then you glue it on to your, your wheel grip like this. You would hold it up all the way on just like that and let it glue with the CA glue after you clean the outside of your grip. Then when that would be on, you would have this in the position, you know, how for your thumb. I made it too long. It should have been half that size. But anyway, you could do that. That's one way. Then another way, another way, easy way to do it is you get one of my grips, you cut it up in the position where you need your thumb to reach. You can cut halves or quarters like that and glue them on. And if it's still not far enough for you, you get another piece on top of that and glue it on again, double as thick or how many you need. And you build up the one side where your thumb's going to be. You see how that works? So you could just buy two grips and modify them and do this or the other method. It's really easy. There's no sense in me building a mold to make this because it's such a simple modification. So that's how you do the thumbwheel grip modifications. Do you guys understand that? <laughs> so that's what you do. All right, now let's get to the rest of these here. There's not as many as the other day because uh, – the other day I did more pours and this is the last of the material here. Oh, also one other thing guys, I make these. This is an old mold, I used to make them a lot more. I make these, I have them sometimes, they're little uh, they're made out of the rubber. They're body post protectors. You put them on your body post, 
are over the top, then you put your pin, you put your pin over these on the body like that, or you could put them under the body. I have these sometimes. I don't really make them too much. But see, I got the fluorescent orange, a few of them, and the black. And I have a few other ones upstairs. I really don't bother with these, but they do work good. I use them on my cars. You can probably see in my videos I have these on some of my cars, Clod Busters and the Hornets and stuff. All right, let's see what the heck these are. It's hard to find people to get these out because if you make a video or something and you put like a PPR, custom reptile radio RC wheel grips, who the hell is going to be searching for that? No one's going to find it. <laughs> I said in my other video, when I first started making these, I was selling them so fast because I was on another message board and I was selling them on there and they were letting me do it. Then after like two years, three years, the message board owner's like, oh, you can't, you can't sell them on here. You're a, you're a big business. You, you have to pay like 400 something or 500, 600 a year to sell them. I was like, a, I told the guy, I said, I'm a big business, huh? I'm pouring them out of my garage in a few molds, making them once a year. <laughs> so that kind of stunk when they did that to me because that spot was, like, really good. Because a lot of the racing guys like flashy stuff with all the colors. It was a racing site. So what I got to do now is, after these are all pulled out, I got to clean the molds, put them back in their place, and then uh, I got to let these cure for a few more days before I could sell them. I actually got to do a photo shoot. How thin can you make those body protectors? Pretty thin. They're pretty thin. I don't know. Like a dime, maybe a little thinner. They're pretty thin. I use them on my cars a lot. I mostly use them a lot on my for myself because I really don't go crazy selling these, so I don't make a lot of them. And uh, once in a while, I, if a guy bought like a couple grips, I'd throw in a set of four just as a gift. But I really don't make them too much anymore, but they do work. I use them on the Hornets, the Clods, and a few other cars. Look, like my crawlers. I think I have it on one of my crawlers. I don't know where the hell it is. I don't know. I use them. They're good. I missed the garbage again. All right. Let's see what this is here. Massive clouds in the house. Been a while. How have you been? So I'm doing good. I'm just taking out some of my custom grips I do for the RC radios out of the molds. My uh, reptile grips, I call them. PPR reptile grips. Also, guys, when you see these, you can't see them because you're not in person. These uh, grips have the PPR logo lettering on them and a flame going around the whole grip. I don't know if you could see them. There's a under the coloring because it's so messed up in like different colors. It's hard to see. And, but in person, see, there's a flame going around the whole grip also. It's not smooth. There's like a flame going around it, raised a little bit. 
So here it is. Like I said, I made green because a lot of guys like the green. Believe it or not, a lot of guys, some guys just want the plain black one, so I make one round of those. I'm like, why would you want a black plain one? I guess some people don't want to be flashy. Well, I'm the type of person I want some crazy, crazy ass colors on my radio. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Check that out. RC Mass Manager. That's my website is pprslots.com. I always use them to uh, race up. And uh, we used to do all trophies and have all different races, drag racing and stuff. I did that for many years. A couple little videos. I made another HO track for a few years, just a two lane, and I took it down. Well, I used to have like so many tracks, the 132nd scale Carrera ones and stuff, four lane, all computer time. We'd have like 20, 30 guys come over here and race. It was fun. I did that for like who knows how many years, 20 years maybe. I don't even have none of it hardly on my YouTube of racing. I think I have one. It's called the uh, Slot Car Sickness shows some stuff, but I didn't get nothing that I had because I had – YouTube after all this was already stopped doing it, you know, the slot cars. So PPR stands for Prospect Park Raceway. That's a cool one. Ooh. And Shen RC has nothing to do with like China and stuff like <laughs> you guys think Shen <laughs> or my name's Shen. Uh, it used to be, if you look at my old videos, it'll say Shen Lanko Productions. That's what it stands for. Shen is short for Shen Lanko. I used to have a boxer dog and I used to nickname him Shen, Shen Lanko. I used to call him the Shen Lanko one. I'd be like, he is Shen Lanko one. He was my only dog and that was his nickname, so I figured, oh, I'll put it on my YouTube because it was my only boxer. And uh, people, after so many years, every time they ask me, oh, what's your YouTube? Shen Lonko. <laughs> Shen Lonko? Shen Linky? So messed up. They didn't know how to spell it. I'd spell it for them. They still wouldn't get it. So I said, the hell with it. I switched it to Shen RC for short. That's a nice one. <laughs> Do they come with sound effects? PPR, reptile radio grips. The best quality grip for your radio money can buy. Nothing will make you win your races. Nothing will make you win your crawler competitions more than a PPR Reptile RC Radio Grip. Get yours now at pprslots.com. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Two more after this, two different color ones. I think these are like plain black, maybe. Ooh. 
Woo, got one in. I think these might be plain black. Yeah, these are special. And believe it or not, I should have made a, another pour of solid black ones because some guys are plain jeans. They're just like, oh, do you have any black ones left? I'm like, no. I'm like, why would you want a black one? There's so many nice colors. I just want a black one. But I only made four black plain ones. Yeah, guys, these look a hundred times better in person. You can't even, even when I take like a picture of my good DSLR, I could never get it a hundred percent. In the videos and stuff, if you if you could imagine fluorescent green, what it looks like when you show it like up to the camera, it looks blah like regular green, so it looks kind of boring. This one's nice. Look at that. Look at all the color on it. Well, this one, you could see the flame pattern. See it? It's hard to see. See it? There's a flame pattern that wraps all the way around them. <laughs> see, Matt, I like the plain colors too. What well, you could do some voice work, Steve. That was good. Yeah, I do a lot of different characters and stuff. Like Glenn from the superstore and stuff like that. <laughs> Bobby Hill. <laughs> Should see some of my fishing videos. <laughs> Check out my fishing channel, Fishing with PH, and look at the video, Glenn Goes Fishing, the superstore. And also, I think I did one, uh, Bobby Hill gets a new Fenwick fishing rod. <laughs> Actually, on my fishing channel, half the videos I was doing a special voice for Pickerel Hunter. I was talking like this all the time. In fishing, but my voice was getting so messed up that I just had to stop and do my normal voice. So people look at my videos, what the hell? Someone's like, oh, do you smoke a lot of cigarettes? <laughs> it's funny. But I couldn't keep doing it because I didn't think I was going to make so many fishing videos on my other channel. And I started making like more of them. And the whole time fishing, talking like, oh, I like that. It really messed up my throat, so I stopped doing it. So half my videos as the Pickerel Hunter character are talking like that. And then half of the new ones, I'm talking regular. And even when I talk regular, I notice sometimes I do it a little bit. And I'll be fishing, and, and I don't know what it is. I've been doing it so many years for my cousin. I used to make videos and have them private on my channel for my cousin in Oregon as the pickerel hunter. So even when I stop doing it, I'll be fishing. And I notice when I'm fishing, I, I cramp up my voice a little bit as I'm talking. <laughs> I got so used to doing it. All right, these are the last two here, guys. Fluorescent orange beauties. Spectrum ones. These are spectrum colored grips. Two in a row. These are like a spectrum color.
These could look pretty good. This was the last of the material, and it could make two of these. Pretty nice. Fluorescent street cone orange with black. Uh, the camera probably don't pick it up. It probably don't look nothing like it. Doesn't look nothing like it in my uh, monitor here. That's why I'm saying, guys, in person, these look a hundred million times better than on the monitors. Someone on Facebook thought they were like drift tires. <laughs> I actually used one, <laughs> some for tires one time. I had one of those uh, Cox cars. If you see my video, I think it's the Sandblaster uh, Cox video. I made one of them uh, remote control with a brown doom buggy. You'll see on the front wheels, I use a black grip, one of my grips on each of the front wheels. It fit perfect. I just cut a little bit off. These ones came out cool. Let's see, uh, this is an older one I I made for my Capropo. First Lars, have you seen the new Red Cat MT? Yeah, I, I checked it out. I seen the video. It looks pretty good. Arsene, you need better images. Yeah, I'm going to try. You know what I'm going to try this time? I'm going to use my GoPro, but I'm going to use my DSLR first, and I'm going to just put them out like with a white with the background, and I'm going to try to video them in HD, and then I'll do them all, and then I'm going to try to clip the video and make like a picture out of it. I think that might work good. See how that works out. I'll try that. It's a pain in the ass to get all the pictures of them. I put them in, I used to put them in one of them camera little things you set up, them booths, and put them all like on top of each other and take the pictures. So I'm going to try something different. I was actually thinking of just doing a video with them all on a table or a white background and with a number on them. That way you know which number if you want to order. I'm going to try something different. But let's see what they look like. If we put one on here, try one of these white ones here. This is the soft material. I have two different materials. This is the soft uh, version. Normally you would clean the under, after you take this off, you would clean your uh, wheel then put it on. The white one looks pretty cool. That's how they go, just like that. Easy, easy, put them on like nothing. Now, if you want to change the, the appearance of your radio, let's see. Put one of these bad boys on. This wheel's kind of small. Oh, now, if you want that, you got an orange one. And no, it's also nice as you could color coordinate to your car. Say if you have one radio, and you have a whole bunch of them laying around for your cars, like 10 of them. Say you have a blue car, a red car, your Corolla's red, you could get a red grip, put it on your radio so you match the color. Oh. That's it. Now we're back to the blue and orange. Could have a different color for every day of the week. 
All right, guys. That's it. If you want to look back at this video, I show a lot of the grips that are in here also. I show how to modify my grips to make a thumb grip so you could drive with one hand in two different ways. You got to look through the video. I showed you how to do that. And also, guys, if you want to get some of these grips, they'll be available probably in a couple of days. But if you want anything, you could contact me on my Facebook or uh, also on my homepage on the YouTube channel, the contact. Or you could go to www.pprslots.com, and you can email me there. I usually put the grips up on my site, too. So I got to take the photos of them and stuff or video. I got to see how I'm going to do it this time. But anyhow, guys, thanks for stopping in and watching. I'll try my best with the pictures and stuff. I always try to do it good. It's hard to do, like I said, because the monitors look different. I have a better monitor upstairs for when I do uh, my uh, video editing and my photo stuff. So I do my work on that one. I could tell the little laptop like I'm looking at now. They never look good, all these little laptops and stuff. They have like a, like a bluish hue to them, like they're off. So I appreciate you all stopping in. Hit that thumbs up on the way out if you can. And I just wanted to share you my PPR reptile grips. You guys seen them? They're pretty neat. That's why I did them. I started making them for myself, like I said, because I got sick of my foam grips always deteriorating and getting shot. So thank you, guys. I appreciate it as always. And I'll see you next time. Later. Real.